Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. I'm Bryce Vertudes, uh, founder of the Electric Night Riders, and actually there are three of us. But right now, after a year and a half, um, I was the one left uh, handling the group. And also, I've been using an electric scooter for three years. Compact siya and uh, kaya ng kaya parin siyang mabuhat. So nandun ako sa hindi ganong kahina, hindi ganong kabagal, and nandun din ako sa hindi din ganun kalakas at ganun kabigat. Yun yung pinili kong parang for me is the best electric scooter, best ideal electric scooter for me. Sa mga electric scooter riders naman na interested na bumili, na lalo na for the beginners, I think, eto, magbibigay, magbibigay na lang ako ng 3 brands. Kasi since we are vlogging electric scooter reviews, they can also check our channel na kung ano talaga yung, ano, yung unbiased opinion namin. So for me, if you would ask me, kasi, We are a team of five, so kung tatanungin mo sila, they have their own options as well. Actually, you can ask them later kung ano yung sa kanila namang top three nila. Pero for me, top three na entry levels for the beginners is most likely ang ipapasok ko dyan is yung Ronin Alpha. One of the best entry levels. This is the one Ronin Alpha, yan. And yung Mega Wheels S10 Pro X. And probably yung pinakakilala na budget level na scooter is the Mauber. But take note, in the OEM or generic Mober, but the Mober Kugo version. That's the Mober S10 by Kugo. So that's the three brands. And the price range, na Manila, starting from the Mober, is around 16k for the 36 volts. But meron din namang 20, around 22k for the 48 volts. For the second one, is the Mega Wheels S10 Pro X, is around 20k. And also the third one is the Ronin Alpha, is around 20. 6 to 27k depending on the version kasi may paparating silang version 2. So oh, yun, paparating silang version 2. Yun, yun yung for the entry levels naman. For the mid-level naman, um, dun sa mga existing riders na gusto mag-upgrade, dun pumapasok naman yung main electric scooter ko which is yung Double DVX 2400. Siyempre, um, I'm not being biased pero kasi kaya ko siya pinili dahil after going through all the existing electric scooters na nandun sa price range niya. Siya lang talaga yung parang pinaka ano eh, sweet spot na nakita ko. Nandun, kumbaga doon tumibok yung puso ko eh, sa double DVX 2400. Kaya nung nakita ko yun, hindi siya pwedeng mawala sa listahan ko to recommend. Hindi, bor hindi porket siya yung gamit ko, kundi siya kasi yung pinaka ideal for a mid-range entry level scooter. So that's the first one. Second one will probably be the the latest na na review namin is the Ultron X2. That's a 60 volt electric scooter, and for me, and for me, that is also considered as a mid range, because the extreme is much higher. So, double DVS 2400 Ultron X2, and then lastly would probably be Ultron Mini, because the Ultron Mini is one of the top pagdating sa pinakamalayong nararating ng one full charge na electric scooter. That's Ultron Mini. So, sa akin naman, ang pinakapanalo naman sa double DVX 2400 is the weight. Wala pang tatalot sa 1 to 1 to watts na motor hubs niya na 48 volts to maximize the range. Kasi yung 60 volts masyado na malakas. So, na compromise yung range niya. So, yung 48 volts is a sweet spot for a maximum range capacity without compromising the speed kasi it could still go 50 to 55 kilometers per hour. So, wala pa akong nakikita ng ibang electric scooter na kayang, na meron lahat ng yun na specs na 30 kilograms less ang bigat. So, para sa akin, yun yung pinaka-sweet spot kasi nabubuhat ko siya nang walang kahirap-hirap at nakakalayo pa rin ako with the range na kailangan ko na hindi ako binubusinahan sa likod kapag nag-green light kasi nga, kaya kong 
umandar ng ma- mabilis ka agad nang hindi nakaabala sa likuran. So for me, that's a good upgrade from an entry-level school. For the high-end electric scooters naman, syempre, hindi pa din mawala sa listahan ko yung Wolf Warrior Plus kasi nung na-try ko yon, ito hindi na siya ideal weight kasi wala kan halos wala na kayong makita talaga. Well, the fact is wala talagang magaan na high end except for the Rion kasi yung Rion naman it cost a fortune before you buy it. So, I don't consider it as a very uh, practical na electric scooter. So for me, the best For me, ito, ano to, opinionated to, it is for my opinion lang, is the Wolf Warrior Plus. Stability-wise, it's very good. Power, top speed, all actually, hindi ka magwawabal on top speed using that electric scooter. So for me, that's my top one. Second would be the Ultron X3. Kasi nung natry din namin yung Ultron X3, it packs a punch, sobrang lakas din ng hub. And ganda rin, ang ganda rin ng build niya. For me, ang feel ko yung build niya is ano, waterproof na siya. Although hindi siya IP rated, pero yung build niya, I've seen a lot of electric scooters and I think that electric scooter is uh, heavily built for water resistance. Then the third one, for the highest end, of course, dream scoot ko siya, is the non-robot D6 Plus. Yan. So, I, yan, the non-robot D6 Plus kasi the, that's the most comfortable electric scooter for the high end na na-try ko. Kasi yung suspension niya, literally para ka nasa ulap kapag tinan mo siya. Kung dumaan ka sa lubak, hindi mo mararamdaman yung lubak kasi nga, ang lambot ng suspension niya. Although, bibigyan na rin kita ng, ano, ng, ng uh, tip. Kasi the software, the suspension is the more, ano naman, the more danger din kasi kapag nagtatap speed ka. Kasi malambot siya, kaya niya labanan yung lubak, pero hindi niya kakayanin na kapag bigla kang malubak sa mabilis na pagtakbo. Doon naman pumapasok yung mga stiff suspension for high-end electric scooters. Kinailangan talaga nila maging stiff kasi yung high-end electric scooters, kailangan labanan naman yung lubak. So, mararamdaman mo yung lubak kasi kailangan mo talagang maramdaman yun para hindi ka mapasama. So, it's, it's, ano, it's power against comfort. So, mamimili ka sa high-end. So, yung gusto mo ng comfort, go with D6+, Plus, but wag mong gagamitin yung full potential niya to the top speed. Kung gusto mo naman ng nasa gitna, Ultron X3, kasi nandun yung mid niya eh. Nandun yung suspension, enough suspension to fight the rumble strips and all, pero enough then to, ano, to go you with top speed. I mean, enough with top speed na hindi ka mapapasama. And kung gusto mo naman ng sobra talagang uh, ilalaban ka at ipaglalaban ka sa, ano, sa lubak, pumunta ka sa Wolf Warrior Plus. Kasi si Wolf Warrior Plus, nandun yung stiffness ng suspension niya just because kailangan kang safe at stable kapag bigla kang nalubak. So, doon naglalaro yung ano eh, specifications. Kaya yung top 3 kong yun, iba-iba yung specialty nila depending on your preference. Kung gusto mong comfort, go with D6 Plus. Kung gusto mo ng super powerful na ano, go with Ultron X3. And if you would want stability go with Wolf Warrior Plus. So, that's my top 3 picks for the ultimate high-end electric scooter. So, for the range naman, ng mid-range na nabanggit ko, it costs 60k to around 85. For the high-end naman, it starts with 90 to 150. But there's a lot more high-end, the very ultimate high-end, the SSS. Diyan na pumapasok yung mga brand ng Weeped and Dualtron. So, alam na ng mga mga riders na naka-brand sila na Weeped at Dualtron, alam na nila yun na mas mabibili sila at mas malalakas. But, ideally, if you are looking for a practical one, I would suggest those brands. Kasi, nandito tayo sa practicality. So, kung nandito tayo sa gusto natin na malakas din, gusto rin natin na uh, makasabayan natin yung mga branded ones, pero hindi ganun kamahal, then, dun tayo sa top 3 na naibigay ko. It would fit you and probably makasabay mo rin sa bilis yung mga branded na yun na nabanggit ko earlier. 